Hello everybody and uh, welcome to Organian's Puzzle Box. In this video I want to showcase the project uh, entitled uh, Animated Nebulas in Unreal Engine Skybox Volume 10. This is also for Blender but I'm going to showcase the textures themselves in Unreal Engine. They function pretty much the same way in Blender as well in the project file. But just feel free to take a look at the project if you like what you're seeing. Uh, but without any further delays, let's begin setting up, I mean, using the textures, basically, that comes with the project. So, uh, right now, we're seeing Skybox Volume uh, 10, uh, the Skybox number 1. So, this one it comes with some predefined stars in it as well. Um, and it's got a mask, an alpha mask as well. So if I press F11 now to see the Unreal Engine um, sort of, uh, you know, all this set up. Uh, what we've got in here, we've got an alpha and we can actually look at a sort of uh, turning off the sun if we increase the alpha strength in here. Uh, obviously, this does make it so that the sun is black. So you do have to sort of adjust the sun in such a way that you can hide it. Um, and, and, you know, but, but what you can notice there is that the alpha is blocking the sun rays and this is already set up in the project setting of unreal engine if you get it uh, actually i just realized that my head is in front of that <laughs> okay right so um uh, you know we can move this around and you can see where the sun disk is being sort of occluded by the nebula and um, again, if the nebula is bright, wherever the sun goes and is being blocked, then you're going to have to make sure that you sort of properly set this up in such a way that it's not very, you know, it doesn't look uh, too, um, uh, you know, it, it's not very sharp in that regard. Um, but you can lower the alpha strength to zero, for example, and then that won't block the sun. But the alpha's main purpose is to block stars. So right now we have no stars where the nebulas are. And we can add more stars in here if we want to, like that. And you can see those stars are now uh, going through this. Um, but you do have um, extra, st uh, extra alpha strength. Sorry, that's... Um, that's not right uh, because I don't have any alpha in here so I will need to drop um, the alpha over here like that in the extra cube map if I really uh, want to adjust it based on that but because I don't have an extra um, cube map I can have a look in here where it says uh, alpha strength so we can put that to like a 50 or 100 and as you can see at 50 it blocks those extra stars that I've added over from here uh, but I could take this down to like a 10 or a 1 or a 0. And at 0, you can see pretty much all the stars coming through. Um, so this is a nice sort of way of controlling how many stars you can see that are going through the nebula. Now, if we go to, um, you know, um, skybox number 2. So I'm just going to drag this content browser um, further away. I'm going to drop number 2 in here. And then I'm going to load the alpha for number 2 as well. So this is number 2. Um, and it's a bit, a bit of a darker nebula, as you can see. But that's, that can be easily fixed by just playing around with the brightness of the skybox, which will then bring the nebula uh, to you know, be more visible. Uh, bear in mind that you can combine these nebulas with multiple other nebulas. So, you know, in here where we got the extra cube map, you could drop also nebula uh, skybox number one. Um, and then that means that number one and number two are sort of overlapping each other. But then number two has, has got its individual sort of uh, brightness settings. So, um, you know, we could darken it or we could lighten it up. So let's just do it like that. And then it's also it also can be rotated. So rotated in such a way so it doesn't actually intersect as much with the nebula number one. Um, but let me just take off the this uh, extra cube one and let's go to nebula number three. So I'm just going to drop number three in here. And this is, oh, sorry. Uh, I, I've dropped number two again, unfortunately. I'm trying to get number three. There we go. So this is number three, which is a bit of a brighter nebula. And it's really fantastic, the colors and everything on it. It's really cool. Um, you can also tone up the sharpness if you want to get more details on this. Uh, again, these are 16K um, uh, sort of nebulas. So we could decrease the brightness and then also maybe increase the um, alpha strength over in, uh, in here where we've got the alpha strength. We could put that to like a 50 or maybe like a 20. Again, these do come up with their own stars, but the extra stars that you can add with this just is able to 
populate the scene even further if you want to or if you just want to see more of the nebula just decrease that uh, and then we've got nebula number four um let me just drop that in there uh, i'm going to put in the alpha as well and nebula number four is all about you know beautiful colors now let me just take the sun out of there and put it somewhere around here look at these colors these are beautiful colors over here all around us and it's just so much detail weaved in here if i switch over to like a camera view of you like that you can see some really fantastic shots look at that that is just fantastic as you can see there like that and and the the, the sort of the structure that is being created and the fact that you can sort of move the the sun around uh, like that and you can also make sure that in the, in the in the dome here the alpha is lower so you know where it says the sun mass threshold you can put that to a zero so you can actually have the sun going through these now let's try uh, number five now so i'm just going to drop number five and i'm going to put the alpha in there number five is a bit is a bit more understated and what i mean by this is like you need more brightness for this to to shine or you need to decrease the alpha strength in here to like a one so you get more stars coming through but i would definitely get the brightness on this lower so you get more of the nebula sticking through this is may this is meant more for like specific camera angles because it's got bigger shapes uh, that are sort of happening in the scene um now we're gonna go to number uh sorry six uh let me just drop number six i think i put the wrong alpha no it's uh is that number six no so number six and dropping in this one and number six has some interesting sort of veins running across it as you can see there uh there's quite a bit of um it's like a, the whole the, the, the idea of this is to put the star in here so put the directional light in there so it just creates this sort of a nice effect like that i really like this one and it's all about the brightness factor on it so you can darken it to get some really interesting shapes um, you could probably want to play around with the with the strength of the stars, maybe decrease that a bit. Um, just so you don't get as many stars for it, but it's a beautiful nebula as well. And again, you can play around with the tint of this as well if you want to make it greener or bluer or redder, you know, more reddish. Um, and now let's uh, go on for number seven. And number seven is about just remarching a lot of details so as you can see it's a lot more smaller smaller vein uh, details everywhere and this is uh, these are mainly so that you can have like some nice shots of volumetric nebulas connected to this so if you get the project where i do volumetric nebulas that's going to be also very useful um and then we can do number eight which is the final one number eight is got ray marching um, effects taken to the maximum as you can see these harmonics everywhere this is meant to be like a very alien looking nebula so even in the camera shots that i've got set up in here in the project this is every shot in here is just epic basically and full of scale and detail um so yeah that's that's kind of the showcase of this and yeah i i hope you guys do enjoy it um and that was really that was that was it for this project for the nebula for the for the nebula of volume 10 i hope you guys enjoy it i hope you like what you've seen um i've worked quite hard on getting this shader to work well in blender but you can get the nebula generator from our station or gumroad or patreon yourself and you can toy around with these and create your own nebulas for unreal so thank you much to all my patreon supporters and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching